Well, I've been working with the imagery of animals since I was little. That's all I've ever done. And part of my process is research. And so for me to validate what I do as an artist includes that process of researching animals. And I have the background of zoology and wildlife biology in my undergrad because I wanted to be a herpetologist. So incorporating that into my work is important. And so animals are my subject matter based on my background and what I've been interested in since I was younger. There was a point where I realized that science dwindles down to data and graphs and numbers, and it took away that richness in researching animals and understanding them, and it made it very black and white. And so, I made a decision to pursue the arts, to continue to work with that subject matter, but to also allow myself to have as corny as it sounds color in what I'm interested in. So being able to incorporate sciences into my art. Um, I've been making it since I was little, but I thought of it as a hobby and then I realized that it really was not a hobby and that I was going to choose to suffer for it and to not revert to just numbers and data and how many times a fish waved its fin. It's just boring. Before I start working, I tend to go around the studio and kind of set myself up, whether it's watercolors or um, preparing my canvas and gessoing or setting the mood, putting music, research, as I mentioned before, um, knowing the animal so I can feel validated. I want to know why I should be bringing attention to that subject. And then through that process, I'm able to create a composition for the artwork. Um, so becoming intimate with drawing it out and then figuring out how I'm going to paint it and evolving and what it's going to mean to the viewer, what I'm trying to communicate. It's very intimate. I enjoy that struggle. It's what I enjoy about the work. It's like trying to figure out how to really get it stylistically realistic, like that juxtaposition between the two. Um, that's all a part of my studio practice, wrestling with it and like almost like suffering for my work because it takes so long. You just like really grab it and slam it against the table and it's a nice physical activity that's different from my paintings, even though I'm very rough with my paintings and I can't really describe it with words, but it just feels like uh, the way you work with the hands. It's just so different in the tools. It's, it's a nice rough, feel. It's hard to describe. I can't really tell you what my process was besides creating the general shape and then using my hands and tools to create the gestural movements to give the movement of where the animal is going to be and then uh, detailing it with the knives. Personally, I feel like artists are people who whose job is to react to what's happening currently and to say what should be said when it's hard to get your voice out there. So their work will be dated and their work will reflect what is happening in the world. So it's, it's just a way to react. It's a way to give a voice and to reflect culture and to be that richness of the product of culture. Only become an artist if you want to work really hard and struggle. Uh, you cannot think of this as a hobby. It is very much not even a lifestyle, but it's, it's to suffer for it. I would never suggest someone that paints on the weekends that just feels like it's to relax um, to pursue it because it's very hard. It's very competitive. Um, there's no set path, so you need to work really hard and realize you may not have a great social life. Connect and take chances. Don't be afraid to dive into what may seem impossible. So do it if you feel this conviction that you will never do anything else. <laughs>